So looking at angles and triangles, right? So the easy one where you got way back when was some sort of triangle. You were given two angles. So this one is 35. This one is uh, 100. What is this one? And we used what rule? That's right. Angles in a triangle add to 180. What's the other thing for add to 180? Ah, supplementary. So you can write either one of those. All right, doesn't really matter. Sometimes it's better to stick to the add to 180 because then you know the 180. All right, so what have we got here? We've got x equals 180 minus 100 minus 35 leaves us with 45 degrees angles in a triangle. Add to 180. There's another way of writing this, some of you will have learnt, and that is the angle sum, sum of a triangle is 180. So the angle sum is 180, or they add up to 180. They're both quite correct, so that's another alternative way of writing the reason for this. Okay, then we have this one. What kind of triangle is this? Isosceles. Always a good one to spell when you're in year nine. And this one? Scalene. No angles are equal. All right? So in an isosceles triangle, we might be given one angle and we can find the one we want. So if we're given this one and told that this equals 50 degrees and we want to find this one, what's the reason? Base angles of an isosceles triangle are, whoops, triangle are equal. All right, so these two are both going to be x, even though that one wasn't given to us. So we've got angle sum of a triangle is 180. So x equals 100 minus 80 minus 50 divided by 2. So that's 130 divided by 2 is 65 for each of the x's, all right? Or we can have an equilateral triangle. And what are the angles in an equilateral triangle? Yes, 180 divided by 3 equals 60, because they all have to be the same. And the reason... Equilateral triangles have an angle of, of each angle is 60 degrees. Doesn't really matter as long as they make you can make the examiner understand that you understand that part there. It's one last one that's quite a funny one that some people teach and some people don't. So sometimes it can be two steps or sometimes it can be one, and it looks like this. All right, so we're trying to find an exterior angle. This is the angle on the outside of a triangle that's on a straight line. And that angle there is equal to this one plus this one. Now, how does this work? So these two add up to be 100. So we know that this one here is 80. So we could find the angle on the triangle to find this one equals 80. And then use the angle on a straight line, 80 plus what is 180 is 100. So the rule is the exterior angle equals the sum of the opposite two angles. All right? The exterior angle of a triangle equals the sum of opposite two interior angles. I don't know. Something like that anyway explains it. So y equals 40 plus 60 equals 100 degrees. Okay, so you can do that by two steps. You can find the angle sum and use angle sum of a triangle and then angles on a straight line. That is okay. You don't have to remember this one, but if you do, you can do it in one step.